Hi, everyone. This is Sean with the Mass Support Network here with your Massachusetts Public Health Report for Friday, April 16th, 2021. Uh, so things are more or less plateaued this week. Uh, slightly more active cases estimated to be out there right now, but not a very significant number. Uh, Last week, of course, there was this error with the um, quarantining data. Uh, it was not 113,000 people under quarantine. It was probably more likely uh, 13 or 11,000. It's one of those uh, repeated numbers there was likely a type of error. This week, we have a corrected number, uh, just over 11,000 people under quarantine. Uh, in terms of people under isolation, that is with confirmed COVID-19 cases, there was just over 35,000 last week. And there's slightly more than 35, just under 36,000 this week. So more people, but um, not, not significantly more uh, for the number of places we're at. Uh, the uh, average age of hospitalization and average age of death continue to trend downwards. Uh, the average age of hospitalization dropped two years. Uh, the uh, average age of uh, death uh, dropped another uh, three years. Uh, just this shows it has the most vulnerable uh, people. The oldest part of our population uh, has been largely vaccinated at this point. Uh, We're seeing a lot fewer hospitalizations and deaths in those brackets. Uh, however, our hospitalizations uh, are, for the most part, uh, training downward. We're seeing fewer people in the hospitals and in the ICUs. Uh, these are Small reductions, though, so it's not anything to get too excited about. Slight uptick in intubations. Uh, this may just be an artifact of just how it happened to be on the day of the week. Uh, this may also be that some of those people in ICU have uh, trended, uh, moved over onto ventilators. Uh, in terms of testing, our testing uh, turnaround time uh, is uh, still staying uh, pretty quick, uh, coming down a little faster even at this point at the average turnaround time is just uh, a day and a quarter, so just 30 hours between a test being uh, taken and reported to the Department of Public Health. Uh, and when we look at the uh, state as a whole, uh, overall incidence rate has come down slightly. Uh, it was 28.1 new cases per day per 100,000 people, uh, and now it has come down uh, a little over half a case per day. Uh, most counties have trended downwards um, with the exception of uh, the islands, Essex, Hamden County and Worcester County, though a uh, few of those trended up by much, except of course for Dukes and Nantucket where small populations can uh, lead to that number uh, um, changing wildly. Uh, one, uh, no one has dropped significantly except Barnstable, which came down about 10 cases as they're coming off of that uh, Cape Cod uh, cluster from a little while ago. Uh, when we look at percent positivity, uh, we have, as usual, the three lines, the bottom showing the screening testing done at uh, higher education institutions, the middle line being the state average overall, and the gray line being uh, the state average without uh, higher education factored into it. So the overall number has trended down, but uh, the higher education number has come down as well, and that uh, tends to pull down the average uh, as screening tests are, are less likely to produce positive results. So the actual overall testing uh, percent positivity has come up slightly, and that's just uh, something to be aware of there. Uh, but again, fewer people are going to be getting tested these days uh, because people who are vaccinated are not going to be uh, generally testing as much. Uh, and a lot of the resources for testing uh, is dedicated to vaccination at this point. Uh, finally, uh, looking at the incidence rates uh, over time, uh, so this is the those numbers we look at back the map, the number of new cases uh, per day per 100,000 people, and I've got those by county here. So we can see since we started tracking it this way back in uh, December how uh, this has uh, changed. Uh, so first we're looking at Western Mass, which is a little easier to, to parse part because things uh, are fairly different there. We can see how generally speaking, there has been a pretty steady pattern across the counties. And we'll see the same thing true in Eastern Mass. Uh, regardless of the specific county, there, there may be some incidents that change things. Like you can very clearly see the UMass Amherst uh, cluster 
uh, back in February that spikes Hampshire County right there. But otherwise things follow this, this general arc of going up into January, coming down across the beginning of February, moving around a little bit uh, into March, and then a subtle uptick here. Now we are seeing, you know, some there is, is some variations between some of these. Um, Berkshire County does have, uh, for example, slightly more variation than some of the others, uh, starting a little higher than the other low population counties going lower and then coming back a little more sharply. Uh, Worcester County, despite being you know, much larger than many of these others, uh, has uh, a big trend there as does uh, Hampton County. And these are all adjusted for population. When you look at this. Uh, so you can see your, find your county and uh, see a little bit about what's been going on there. Now let's look at Eastern Mass. And this is a, um, you know, the various counties for the most part follow this pattern very tightly. Uh, now it's worth noting, of course, that these uh, data points are only collected weekly. Uh, so, you know, some of these curves will be going to similar points from that. Uh, but Generally speaking, everything follows the same arc up into January, dropping down at the beginning of February, kind of wiggling around February and March, and then slowly trending up. Uh, you can see that Cape Cod cluster right there uh, for Barnstable. Uh, and, but by and large, things even with wildly different populations, when you adjust, uh, they follow the same arc, which is kind of interesting to see. I think it might be more um, tight tightly patterned like this in Eastern Mass and Western Mass, uh, partly because um, my guess would be that because Eastern Mass is a lot more interconnected than Western Mass, uh, there's more, uh, you know, cross county travel there, whereas, for example, in, East, in Western Mass, uh, you know, the, the Berkshires are kind of uh, cordoned off from the other ones. There's not uh, that same sort of uh, interchange there, but that's just a, a speculation. And finally, when we look at the Massachusetts seven-day average of new cases per day, uh, we can see we've gone through here, uh, coming down in, from February, uh, reaching our low point in early March, trending back upwards uh, towards the end of March, and a slight drop off there, nothing to get too excited about, uh, but a little bit lower than we were seeing at, in the last couple of days of March. And uh, one last thought uh, as we go into our weekend. Uh, this is just a comic from uh, XKCD from uh, about uh, the uh, post-vaccine uh, social scheduling that we're going to be coming into as all of our family and friends start getting vaccinated and uh, finding when people, uh, in the two-week period after people's uh, last vaccination dope, dose starts to overlap and your various social networks can start regrouping and how you manage that. Uh, which will be a, uh, a scheduling uh, challenge for some time to come. All right, and for more from Mass Support Network, you can find us on our website or on social media. Remember, wear your mask, wash your hands, and we'll be here if you need us. Stay safe.